okay so this is yet another problem i saw on twitter uh you know it seemed interesting it was on some uh twitter account i can't remember the name but of course the yeah, the thing is going to be like, the post is going to be in like the first 3 5 seconds something like that i don't know so you can check the name yeah so basically they've given us this expression and it's equal to 72 right x times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 5 is equal to 72 okay so and of course yeah i think i should write it here find x <laughs> imagine right if the question was verify this statement <laughs> no okay so yeah let's multiply these out so first i multiply these two out which is x squared plus 2x and then we'll multiply these two out yeah because like multiplying all four of them out together is really like i mean yeah there's a lot of room for mistakes there and it's tough to verify it directly plus i mean i think that's 8x plus 15 yeah that makes sense 72 right so what i'm trying to go at here is first we'll simplify this entire thing then we'll move the 72 to the left uh, left hand side and i am pretty sure we'll get a um, quartic equation from there right quartic equation in the standard form and then of course we'll factor it i hope there's some easy like things to factor it but i don't know for sure right now hey right? yeah so we have to find x and i mean of course because there's a quartic there's going to be i'm pretty sure like multiple values for x but you never know you never know maybe some of the like complex or something okay so yeah that's basically my approach here so x to the fourth right x to the fourth plus well 8x cubed plus 15x squared plus 2x cubed i'm just multiplying these two out right now right um yeah plus 16x squared okay plus 30x and this should be equal to 72 and of course well, i mean i'm just gonna be lazy and write this minus 72 here and say it's equal to zero and now we have a not that simplified quartic okay i should probably simplify this x to the fourth uh, the cube terms are well here and here so plus 10 x cubed then the x squared terms are 31 x squared plus 30 x that's only one x term and then minus 72 equal to zero that's five terms in this polynomial it's a quartic equation and it's standard form really yeah and it has okay so hmm well, let's see so one of the things you should always think about is like you know the sum of all the coefficients if that's equal to zero then you know that x minus one is a factor that's that's a, 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 a inconvenient way to factor things so let's see so 1 plus 10 is 11 plus 31 is 42 plus 30 is well, 72 and minus 72 okay so i guess x minus 1 is a factor that's pretty clear now since x minus 1 is a factor the quotient we get is going to, is and there's not going to be any remainder right so we're going to get a quotient so we'll divide this by x minus 1 and okay let's see uh because i am yeah i'm i'm just gonna divide this uh, as you do 31x squared plus 30x minus 72 right yeah so well, x cubed minus x cubed x to the fourth minus this these cancel out i guess 11x cubed plus 31x squared plus 30x minus 72 Okay, so we get plus 11x squared. So we get minus 11x squared. 11x cubed, okay. And these cancel out. And of course, you should always know that these will always cancel out because it, that's how we use division, right? That's, yeah, you should always know that. Okay, good enough. So uh, plus 11, so that should be 42x squared plus. 30x uh yeah what? minus 72 okay uh, plus 
टू एक्स प्लस फोर्टी टू एक्स ओ माइनस फोर्टी टू एक्स फोर्टी टू एक्स फोर्टी एक्स स्क्वायर्ड ओके बट फोर्टी टू एक्स स्क्वायर्ड एंड वी गेट प्लस ओके सो सेवेंटी टू एक्स माइनस सेवेंटी टू एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू जस्ट फैक्टर आउट सेवेंटी टू वी गेट प्लस सेवेंटी टू सो ओके सो वी हैव लिनियर टाइम्स अ क्यूबिक व्हिच इज दिस क्वेश्चन यू and you know it should be easy enough for you to see that right now the remainder is indeed zero so it should be easy enough to see that so it's x cube plus 11 x squared plus 42 x plus 72 okay so this is all equal to zero so we already get one solution but i'm trying to uh, i'm going to try to get like multiple solutions For this, because I don't feel satisfied, right? At least like there should be four solutions, but always I think I guess we'll see. So now we factorize this cubic, which is ah, uh, okay. And I'm pretty sure these the sum of these coefficients is not equal to zero, right? Uh, okay. Does minus one work? Yeah. So what you do is okay. So what you do is you take uh, you multiply the coefficient of the first term. The coefficient of the last term, ah, uh, the coefficient of the last term, no, the constant term, sorry, and you the factors of those are the only things that can be like, uh, that can be hmm, uh, plugged into the x value here, right? And if none of those fit, then there are no more rational st uh, stuff, right? But because this is seventy two, a gigantic number with a lot of factors, this is really inconvenient. So. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure minus one and one don't work. Two and minus two don't work. Okay, so I'm pretty sure like positive numbers just don't work. Uh, let's try for minus four, right? So minus sixty-four, and of course four is, yeah, four divisible by that. I hope. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really awkward if it wasn't. Now I'm pretty sure it's like twenty-four something. Yeah. Um. Okay, so minus sixty-four. Plus well, eleven x squared x squared, four squared is sixteen times eleven is one seventy six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, sixteen times eleven, sixteen yeah. times and one sixty plus sixteen, yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay, plus forty two x x is minus four, so it should be minus one twenty eight. Eh. Uh, I think, yeah. Plus seventy two and I, yeah, that doesn't add up now. Okay, and of course five is into factor of seventy two, so that can be ruled out directly. Let's try minus six, right? So minus two hundred and sixteen, which is six cubed, plus well six by thirty six times eleven, three sixty, so three ninety six, yeah, three ninety six. Three ninety six minus forty two times six. Okay, so two forty plus twelve. Two forty plus twelve. Okay. Hmm. Two fifty two. Okay. Yeah. Two fifty two plus seventy two. And uh, this is looking kind of promising. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we get a four, and then yeah, sixty. Eight minus four sixty eight twenty, and these two terms, and then we get a plus. Okay, let's see, yeah, a four sixty eight, which is indeed zero. So minus six can be plugged into this, and we can get zero. That means x plus six is a factor, right? Yeah. Okay, so. We have two factors x minus one and x plus six times well something this is equal to zero, right? And of course, this something can be found by hmm I don't know man what's easier I think I should just divide x plus six by the cubic sir uh, the cubic by x plus six sorry yeah x cube plus eleven x squared plus forty two x Plus seventy two. 
okay so we get x squared yeah x squared 6x squared yeah okay uh, plus of course yeah um x cubed okay good enough good enough minus 6x squared so this should be 5x squared plus 42 not 52 42 uh x plus 72 so I get plus 5x okay yeah so plus 30x I'm pretty sure yeah and then 5x squared then of course these signs change and we get 12x plus 72 uh, 76 apparently <laughs> 72 okay so we get plus 12 and of course plus 12 and of course these cancel out right because we know that x plus 6 is a factor so the remainder is 0 the quotient is of course this dot 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 thing so you just gonna write it out there so x squared plus 5x plus 12 and this is equal to 0 okay so we found three factors so far and of course yeah you cannot call these things factors right you can't just say that x like minus 2 is a solution 0 is a solution no you literally can't because 72 is on the right hand side and on the right hand side uh, it should be simply 0 right that's the standard form so you know just uh, there okay so well to factorize this I'm not going to be dumb and like you know just keep plugging in like we were here because these are cubics <sighs> well i mean okay let's, i can think of two ways to do this right one is splitting the middle term which is like I mean, it's not that tough really to understand you know you should have like two things you know a times b should uh multiply it should be 12 and a plus b should be 5 you know you should have two numbers like that or you can use a quadratic formula and get two results for it. But hmm, we're not going to do that because we are we are strong people. We can power through this. We're not going to use the quadratic formula. It's, it's just tedious, right? It's unneeded, really. So we're going to use as elementary methods as we can. Okay. So well, okay. So what are the factors of twelve? Twelve right 12 uh okay well that's plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4 plus or minus 6 and plus or minus 12 okay you should also consider the minus signs here okay i think we can do like 2 and 3 yeah that should make sense so i'm gonna rub this out because this is right in the middle of the place i'm gonna do the calculations you know the rough things should be done in the right hand side but apparently i can't do that so <laughs> x minus 1 times x plus 6 uh so it should be x squared and you distribute the things so 2x plus 3x plus 12 okay this is equal to 0 and now you factor these by grouping okay so i'm just gonna write out the initial terms first that are already factored into linears okay so hmm well, for this one, I'm going to create a square bracket because we're going to need it. Um, right? Yeah. So, we're going to factor it in x from the first two terms. You know, by grouping. x and then we get um, x plus 2. And then plus 3. x plus 4. Well, what? Okay, I just messed up like big time. Okay, what? Hmm. Okay, so if we move, maybe I should do like 3 and 2 rather than 2 and 3. So if we do that, then okay, so we get x plus 3 there and then 2. We have to draw the 2 there, so 2 and 6. Yeah, okay, now what? Eh. Am I that bad at math? What the hell? Oh, 2 and 3 are not 12. Okay, what? I'm that bad at math. I didn't think I was actually. Wow. 
okay so well yeah that was really bad okay sorry for that one okay so two and three six okay let's remember that from now on four and three uh, seven is there actually oh i don't know if there's actually factorable hmm you know what maybe i should use the quadratic formula <laughs> i want to though yeah okay so let's see 12 can be written as okay so it can be written 1 times 12 2 times 6 3 times 4 right then 4 times 3 6 times 2 and 12 times 1 and of course all of these minus 1 times minus 12 minus 2 times minus 6 minus 3 times minus 4 4 times minus 3 minus 6 times minus 2 minus 12 times minus 1 Hmm. Well, it's can't, it can't be the minus, right? Those will add up to a negative number. And 5 is positive because it is greater than 0. Well, hopefully you know that. <laughs> okay, so... Hmm. 2 plus 6 is 8, not 5. Okay, 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. And I'm pretty sure we don't have any such factors from here. Okay, so we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. No! Oh my goodness, okay. So let's use the quadratic formula, whatever, right? Okay, so at this point we have a massive failure. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, we can still make it through. So, yeah. So, the quadratic formula goes, okay. Well, if I have ink, it goes minus B plus or minus. Uh. Okay, I'm just going to take another pen now. Yeah, this is going to be annoying. Um, right, okay, so it goes minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant upon 2a uh, and 2a, well, 2a is hmm, 2a, so a is 1, right, so it's just 2. So x in our case is equal to when b is 5, so minus 5 plus or minus the square root of, okay, so what's b squared? 25 minus 4 ac, so a and c, so c is 12, so it's 4 times 12, hmm, that's surely greater than 25 and we get complex solutions, yay! What the hell? Annoying. Okay, 12, uh, times 4, this is embarrassing, I don't know, 12 times 4 upon 2, right, yeah. so minus 5 plus or minus square root of, okay, so 25 minus 48, I should know this, why am I so bad at math, <laughs> 25 minus 48, that should be like 23 minus 23, damn, even this is, oh, this is awful, awful, awful question, awful, wow, this is so bad as a question, dude. Why is this so terrible? Like, disgustingly terrible. Yeah, this is so bad. Okay, so, whatever, right? I mean, I'm actually not sure now. 48, 25, yeah, I'm just gonna, 3 and 2, okay, it is 23. Uh, so awful, dude. Oh, at least, at least, at least. An unexpected 6, 9 moment. So we get minus 5 plus or minus root 23i on 2. And this is equal to x, right? So our original polynomial can be written as x minus 1 times x plus 6. Then, okay, times this monstrosity. So x plus this monstrosity. Well, yeah, because it's a minus 5, so. Minus 5 plus square root of 23i upon 2 times x. Well, minus even plus 5. And of course, here we used, okay, so plus part, so 
then you use the negative part so negative and negative they just become positive again what 23 square root of 23 i why is my handwriting so terrible dude wait um we'll rewrite this because i can't understand the 23 so i doubt the view as well or uh, 23 i okay wait is that actually right so first we take the plus sign so the plus and the plus that becomes a plus right minus sign oh no 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 this is a plus all along and this is also a plus all along what these both are the same thing eh am i that bad at math oh yeah no this should be a math okay 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 no i understand math <laughs> no i'm not that bad what okay so Hmm. Right? Minus and minus that becomes plus. Minus and plus becomes a minus. Yes. Okay, what? For a second I was like dead inside. Okay, so for x we get four values, two of which are complex. So if you just consider the real ones, then x is equal to one and minus six. Right? But then again, because I'm a smart boy, it can also be minus five plus square root of 23 i upon 2 minus 5 minus the square root of 23 i upon 2 <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much the entire thing wow this is long i don't know why i went for complex solutions why am i such a disgusting human dude oh well and we got the solutions right at the end of the day yeah, you get to call the question set or dumb. No, yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a pretty good question at the end of the day, but like, you know, you could have made this better, dude. Come on. Complex solutions. At least. It's square root of 23. Maybe they were nice people, right? So I'm just gonna, yeah, because 23 times 3, I must spread this knowledge is 69, and therefore it is nice. Maybe they wanted this, right? Maybe they wanted this. Maybe they wanted this. Yeah. So I love this question. <laughs> nice.